Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, let's talk bags that did not work out for me. So I don't really like to sell my bags. I like to buy things that I'm gonna keep, but sometimes that's just not reality. Like, sometimes you get things and they don't work and you just need to get rid of them and move on. And I have four that I don't think I've talked about. One I kind of have, but I get so many questions about it, I might as well just say it again. But the other three, I don't think that I have really talked about them. And one, you probably don't even know that I sold. So let's see, I've got them on my phone. The first one is going to be my Delightful PM. Now I sold this one like, I think it was like a year, year and a half ago, I feel like. Maybe it hasn't even been that long yet. But um, anyway, I sold that one. It was the new style of the Delightful PM with the P-Bone interior. So it had that beautiful interior and okay so I bought that one a few years ago and the one that I got I um, got it from my essay in Austin and um, it was a different essay at the time I believe yeah it was it was the old store manager and it was the display and she said it had only just been pulled out and whatever but whenever I got it the I think it was the handle was slightly more patina than the rest of it and I, I didn't really like that but I was just like whatever it's gonna get darker anyway so I used it and then something happened. Oh yeah, the clip inside chipped off, like the the brass color chipped off and it was silver. So I sent it in, they sent it to be repaired. But then when I got it back, the leather inside was destroyed. Like the repairs people completely destroyed it. So um, the store manager was like, I'm just gonna give you a new bag. So I sent that one to her, she sent me a brand new one and I used it, but I feel like I was kind of put off by what happened and that happens to me a lot if there's an issue even if I have it fixed I'm just put off by it so um yeah I loved it but I just for some reason I didn't really use it and it I mainly stopped using it after that and also the the way that it closed just bothered the crap out of me like I liked it when I was wearing it it was super comfortable the strap was amazing I loved that it could go over my shoulder but then it was still short enough to go in the crook of my arm and be cute but if you didn't like push it down it kind of flipped open and I didn't like that so anyway I sold that one the next one is going to be one that I sold kind of recently and that is my Balenciaga City in the Mang. Now, you know that I love, love, love that color. Um, and I loved the bag too. I got it from Fashion File Pre-Love, but it was pretty much brand new. Um, but my issue was I wasn't really reaching for it because if I reached for my city, I was going for the ultraviolet. And so I also wanted a Velo and I ended up ordering a Velo from Yuki's Closet and it was in the, it's like Jean... Motar, something like that. Anyway, it's a deeper mustard. So the Mang was like a very beautiful mustard, but it was kind of a brighter in a way. Still dark, but a little bit brighter. And then the Velo that I got was, um, or is like a deep mustard. So I was kind of like, I don't need two kind of the exact same bag. One's just slightly bigger than the other and the colors are so similar. So I sold the city and I don't regret that either. I like, I love the color, but I was honestly keeping that one just to look at it and I was like, that's that's literally a waste of money. The next one I have talked about, but I get so many questions about this one that I might as well talk about it again and that's gonna be the No Way BB. So I bought that one, I don't I don't think it's already been a year, but it, it's, it might have already been a year. Um, I bought that one new, I don't remember which store I got it from, it was either from Tennessee or from Austin, but I think it was from Tennessee and it was perfect absolutely perfect it even had that old school Louis Vuitton smell to it it was made amazing just there was absolutely nothing wrong with it but I found it kind of weird that whenever I wore it because it only comes with a long strap it's a cross body bag and um whenever I wore it it was just too long unless I wore it cross body if I it, it was fine cross body but if I wore it on my shoulder it was just too long even on the shortest setting it hung too long and I thought that that was really weird because I had the no way BB strap that I bought like a few years before that that I used on my petite no way and that one was fine and they were the same same length I don't know it was really weird I'm thinking it's just because of the size of the BB I'm not 100% sure but so whenever I would use the BB I would put my Matisse hobo strap on it and then I was like, this is kind of a waste because if I'm going to carry this bag with the Matisse hobo strap, I might as well just be using my petite noe because that's what I did anyway. And so I was like, ultimately they're the exact same thing. And 
Although I loved the size of the BB, I wasn't willing to sell the petite. And I kind of, at the end of the day, was like, I don't need both of these. So, I mean, that one was barely worn. So it was pretty much brand new. And I just passed that on to someone else. I did not make a profit. I didn't, I was not trying to be like a reseller. I sold it to someone that was about to have another baby and she absolutely loves it. It's exactly what she wanted, but you know, it was really hard to get your hands on because we all thought it was discontinued. So when I was able to get it new, I was like, wow, it's clearly not discontinued. So I'm very happy that she still has it. She still loves it. And I just knew if I kept it, I wasn't going to use it as much. I was going to reach for something else. So I had to, you know, move that on. The Next one is going to be the, so, so maybe I have five. I guess I have five. The next one is gonna be my Fendi Mama Baguette. Use that thing one time. And I bought that when we lived in Colorado Springs before we were gonna move here. And I honestly bought it because it was such a good price. And I had always wanted one. Obviously I was a Sex and City, am a Sex and City fan and Carrie always carried the baguette. And just that size was the best. And I remember going into Neiman Marcus and stuff like years ago. And I was just like, I just, I just couldn't force myself to buy it. So whenever I saw it on Fashion File, I think I actually got it from the Fashion File outlet. At the price that it was, I couldn't pass it up. I had to have it. I had to at least own it for a little bit. So I bought it and then I carried it whenever we came to look at houses here or another place that we went to look at houses in Alabama and I carried that and I also took a rough and tumble bag but I loved it I thought it was cute but I was also still kind of like as cute as this is it's super small and it just didn't fit but I, I I loved that I got to use it for a little while and then ultimately I was like I'm not using this just as the novelty of owning it like you know you get that sex and city feel so I was like okay you got your feel, let's move on. So I sold that, you know, just whatever. And I kind of wish I'd kept it because now they were going for way more. I think I paid like 250 or 350 on the outlet and now they are going for almost $900. And I can tell you I did not resell it for anything near that, but I wish I had held on to it just so that I could do that now. The last bag is going to be the most recent one that I sold. And you might kind of be like, what? But hear me out. I sold my Palm Springs PM. I know, I did not think I was going to do it, but what happened was I was obsessed when I got this bag um, over a year ago, um, when I got the original one that had the lip over the zipper. I was obsessed with it. I took it so many places, I used the crap out of it, and I loved it. But then it started to, the, the flower started to rub off and then it started doing the peeling. And I just, I was already like, oh no. So I was able to exchange it and get the new version. And literally, I think I was so put off by the issue that it had that I used that thing a small handful of times. Like I feel like I maybe used it five times, if five times. And one of the corners, one of the flowers was kind of rubbing off and I was like, this is how it started last time. So I just couldn't do it. I couldn't make myself use it because I was afraid I was going to mess it up. And I mean, it might never do it. That might just be, you know, whatever, because the canvas is different now than it used to be back in the day. So, you know, they do tend to rub off now when, you know, I have older pieces that to this day have never rubbed off. So, but I just, I couldn't do it. And then I put up a video talking about how I had already had that new version for a year and just kind of giving an update. And then a friend of mine texted me and she's actually the one that I bought my, um, my Balenciaga City in the Ultraviolet. She texted me and she was just kind of like, I'm sorry about what happened in your bag. I watched your video and what would you think about kind of, she was kind of like, well, what if I bought it? And I was like, well, I'm not 100% sure that I want to sell it. And I was like, I, I haven't decided. So she was like, well, if you do sell it, how much would you sell it for? And I told her and it was under retail. And she was like, okay, well, let me talk to my husband and then you think about it. So I thought about it, I think overnight, and I was just like, screw it, you know, let's sell it. Because I was, I wanted to keep it for when my kids get older because Zayla likes it, but I can't, she's only nine. I can't keep something for like eight to 10 years, like I'm not giving it to a child and I would not give it to them until they're like 18. And 
that's just a really long time to hold on to something and that's a lot of money I think now that bag costs like $2,300 and I was like that's just way too long to hold on to something just to look at and I'm not going to use it because I have my Monsery MM backpack and that thing is in my opinion it's way better it's more functional for me so I sold it and I don't really regret it. My friend loves it and it is what it is, you know? Like, I can't keep something that I'm, in my head I'm afraid to use because I'm afraid it's gonna mess up and I just can't keep something that I'm afraid of because I think that that's just stupid and it really is a waste of money. And she's gonna use it and love it. I know that she's not gonna worry about it because it's, it's what she wanted. It's the, it's the bag that she's wanted. She just, you know, she just didn't go for it. And now at least I know she pretty much got a brand new bag and she got a good discount on it and I and I love that she loves it and I love that I bought her Balenciaga City and now she has my backpack and it's just it's fun so yeah um, I think that those are the only bags that I have sold I know that I've thought about getting rid of a few other ones but I have to be sure that I wouldn't regret it before I do that and that's kind of what I was thinking on those I wanted to be sure that I wouldn't regret it and I think ultimately I made the best choice on them. Sometimes I miss the delightful, but I don't think that I actually miss the bag on its own. I miss the interior. I miss the Pivone interior and it's made me want to get something else in that. But you know, I don't like the graceful, like I like the way it looks. I actually saw someone carrying it and I like the way it looks, but there's a few things on it that just kind of, I, I'm not a fan of. Um, and then I think the only other bag that has that interior is the Neverfull, and I already have a Neverfull, so it really doesn't make sense to buy another one. It's ugh, so annoying. I kind of want to get, you know, a uh, um, Speedy Mon Monogram and put that as the interior, but I'm like, you already have a Speedy Mon Monogram. I don't know, it's really dumb. Um, I've kind of considered selling my Tureen PM. Um, I don't really think that I will. It's not something that, you know, I was just talking to my friend Amy about it and she was like, well, when was the last time you used it? And I was like, well, it's been a really long time. And she was like, well, then you, you just don't need it. But I'm still like, I'm probably not going to because when I do use it, I really love it. I think my only downfall, two downfalls on that bag is it's got the awesome three pockets, which is the same pockets that I have in my Iana. But in the terrine, I feel like the big one, just things get stuck in it. Like I want to open it up and throw things in there, but that one tends to hang open for some weird reason and things get stuck in there and it just, it's, it's really annoying to me. And then, and that doesn't happen in my Iana. I think that's because it opens way bigger. And then the other thing that bothers me is the strap. Like I really like the thin strap. It's super comfortable. It's great when I wear a crossbody. The only time that I don't like it is if I don't want to wear a crossbody and I want it on my shoulder. I hate that it can only be long. You can't shorten it. And I, and I know I could take it and I could have like a hole put in it or something, but I don't want to do that. Like I don't want to alter it in any way. I just, I, I can't do that to my Louis Vuitton bags. I can't alter them. And I could buy another strap, I guess. I could probably, I could buy another, um, Speedy Bandolier strap because I have the Speedy B so I could buy another strap like what I want to use that and the other day when we were at Lowe's I saw this lady and she was carrying a Speedy B25 and I was just like oh my god I want that bag like I don't want to pay for it but I really really want that bag so I don't know that's where my head's at right now um yeah I don't know I also really really love my small Antigona but I haven't used it in a long time like I just don't reach for it, but when I do use it, I love it, but I don't reach for it. And that one's really hard because I would never get what I paid for it. And I don't think that I've gotten nearly enough use out of that bag to take less. I don't want to take a hit on that. So I think I would probably keep that one. Like I do still love it and I, I it's just so pretty. Like there's so many things on that bag that just are so nice and it's so well made. I, I don't think that that one, I could part with that one, but like I considered it just for certain reasons, but I just don't think like I really could on that one. But anyway, I thought that I would share with you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.